Hi. In this third mini video, I will uh, give you information about uh, the third question of the game on titled How does a planet work about volcanoes? I am Hélène Garonac. So, the third question is At what temperature does lava erupt? Magmas are classified in two categories, non-viscous ones and viscous ones. The concept of viscous or viscosity explained in the game imply that there is the body has a capacity, body being a flow, has a capacity to move on easily or not. A non-viscous magma will produce fluid lava flows that can move on very far. The eruption temperatures of uh, effusive eruptions of such type of non-viscous magmas are for a maximum 1,100 to 1,200 degrees Celsius maximum, but it's very hot. Lavas will cool very quickly while uh, advancing and will travel at speeds of a few meters or kilometers per hour. If the magma, the non viscous magma, comes out not at the surface, but under the surface in what is called lava tubes. The eruption temperatures will be able to remain close to what it was at the source for a long distance. So it could easily remain close to 1000 degrees Celsius for kilometers. Such flows, such lava, will advance, will travel for several kilometers from the vent. And the speed of such lava will be of tens of kilometers per hour, not just a few kilometers. So it's really going more quickly in tubes than at the surface. Here you have an example in Hawaii of, an, uh, of some active lava flows. You can observe that the flow at the surface is advancing while the photographer is taking his time to pick up pictures. Why is he not so worried? It's because the speed of this flow is probably only about tens of meters or a few kilometers per hour, so he has time to leave. However, the lava flow will destroy, in this case, the road. Here is a drawing of the other example when lava is flowing in tubes. You have the roof of the lava tube in white and a window where the roof has collapsed. Through the window, you can see the lava with its different colors, red, orange or yellow expressing the fact it's going very quickly, because it's very hot. Such lava flows are traveling at tens of kilometers per hour. Here is a photo. Close up. The other type of uh, eruptions is associated with more vicious magmas. The temperature, the eruption temperatures of these explosive eruptions are less than for the effusive eruptions. It's between, for a maximum of course, it's between 700 to 800 degrees Celsius. These eruptions produce volcanic clouds typically, turbulent flows, that will be able to travel very fast 
at speeds of 100 kilometers per hour or more. Here is an example of the volcanic cloud on the Masaya volcano in the Nicaragua. You can observe a cloud of gases and water vapor as well as volcanic fragments, small ones. Another example here of a volcanic cloud here on the volcano Anatahan in the Marians. You can easily note a piece of the wing of uh, an airplane. These eruptions on volcanoes are tightly monitored because the ash that can destroy, because the ash could destroy the motors of uh, the airplanes passing by. Here is an example of uh, turbulent flows or nuée ardente on uh, the volcano Sufria Hills on Montserrat Island in the Caribs. These flows are very dangerous because they are going very quickly. Here is a famous example of a nuée ardente on the volcano Montagne Pelée. Pictures were taken during this uh, very famous uh, eruption in 1902 to 1903. This part particular picture was uh, taken by Lacroix, a well-known French volcanologist, who discovered and was able to explain at the, for the first time uh, the dynamics of these uh, turbulent flows. Here you have pictures of uh, Saint-Pierre town in Martinique, close to the volcano Montagne Pelée, and you can see how the, the town was completely destroyed by a nuée ardente. There were many of nuée ardente during the, the famous eruption. And the inhabitants were killed only in a few minutes. 27,000 just in two or three minutes because of the gas. Another example of uh, turbulent flows, how they can destroy everything on their road, such as cows, in this present picture on Montserrat. And finally, you observe here the famous moles from uh, Pompeii in Hawaii, related to the eruption of uh, the Vesuvius. The town was destroyed and the inhabitants those who did not leave before this eruption were surprised during a night in 79 after Jesus Christ by turbulent flows and their gases. They died rapidly. Here is the end of the third mini video. You can find the other one on the blog. Have a nice day.